the subway. No, um, first of all, I'm not in Manhattan a lot. And when I am, I prefer to stay above ground. Now, if you want to talk about subway sandwiches, that's an entirely different story. Those two don't, um, you know, they're, they're, they're different things. I'm a fan of subways. I mean, yeah, all the meat's turkey, right? But uh, you get over that. I mean, you know, what, what's what's meat anyway? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to uh, do a part two of our onboarding existing devices in Intune. And we're going to take a look at how to do it with co-management. Um for those SCCM users. I mean, I've been on the subway and I've been in a subway. So uh, what's the difference? Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so yesterday, this is pretty much what we walked through. We made a group policy that put the devices, um, that enrolled the device in Intune. And then we looked at how to kind of you know, pick a certain OU so uh, we didn't have to throw everything in there and everything we did yesterday was done yesterday. One uh, question I got is when transitioning these devices to Intune, um, and I didn't touch on this yesterday, I probably won't touch on it till the next video, but uh, even though they're Intune enrolled, we can prep them to be cloud native by registering them in autopilot. There's a few ways to do that. We do it from Intune once they've been onboarded and we will be going over that. So they will be, your current fleet will be Intune managed until a time when they need to be redeployed and then they'll be full cloud native. So we'll probably get to that in part three. Okay. So for today, we're going to take a look at, instead of using group policy to get to, uh, Intune, Today, we're going to look at how to get devices managed by SCCM, System Center, whatever we're calling it, how to get them into Intune, and that uses co-management. So the idea is kind of like this. I'm going to move these here, right? The idea of co-management is that some workloads can stay managed by SCCM with the, the config man client, while others will come from Intune. Um, and this is what it was originally designed for, hence the co-management. What I like to do is, you can just get rid of that right there, is I like to shift all the workloads up there. Because rem remember, we are building out Intune. Why can't I copy these? We are building out Intune to support a cloud native PC. So co-management will help get the devices up there. And then I think once they're up there, we just let Intune do everything. And there's more than this. I just pick the four um, and we're going to take a look at that. But let's start by talking about uh, how we do this. So I'm going to head to the lab and in this lab we have SECM. I bet you didn't know I had it. So what I have here is I have devices, uh, the same two devices I showed you yesterday, Rubix Dev 1 and Rubix Dev 2. They are in here managed by SCCM. Um, and if you remember from yesterday, we took uh, the first device. What, what, what happened here? Um, hold on. Yeah, we took Rubik's Dev 1 and we put it in Intune. Um, but, and they're both hybrid joints. So now we really got to take a look at uh, device 002, right? And these are managed by, uh, by SCCM. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a collection that we will use for co-management. That's the first thing we do. So we need to create a device collection called co-managed devices. Um, limiting collection, I'm gonna use workstations as my limiting collection. And I am going to update. I will add a direct rule. So I will manually put devices in. Um, Rubix dev 002. Yes, so I'm going to manually put a device in the collection for now. You also don't have to put anything in there to start, right? Okay, but I just figured we would do that. Uh, workstation one, device collections. Let's look into co manage devices. Looks like that's still updating. That Rubix Dev 2 is in there. And the whole idea is once we co-manage this collection, you can add other devices to it. But we'll come back to that. So what I want to do is go to administration. 
So the first thing we have to do is we have to connect SCCM up to Intune, right? So we are going to click on cloud services. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is cloud attach. What cloud attach does is that'll allow us to see our, you know, system center managed devices from Intune. Um, without doing anything to them, right? Just by literally seeing them up there. So let's set this up. Yep, did I hit it? Yep, so basically what we have to do is we have to sign in with our Azure account. Recommend doing a GA for this. Okay, so this will register an application in the tenant to authorize the sync. Yes, what we used to have to do is create the app reg ourselves. What we're going to see now, and I'll just show you over here, this is going to create an app registration. Uh, actually, I should probably wait till it's done and then I'll show you. OK, so when we go back here, we are going to see. Let's see all applications. Yeah, so created on today is May 1st. This config manager service thing, whatever, this was created today. And this is the link between, you know, uh, SCCM and Intune. So this is how the sync will happen. Um, but we have to do a few more things. So we have to go look at the properties of this. Every time I click a button in here, I remember why I prefer Intune. SCCM people, don't get mad. Um, Configure upload. So upload to endpoint admin center, upload all devices. So for cloud attach, it's okay to have all devices up there um, as opposed to a specific collection because we just want to see what's up there. Uh, we don't have to essentially co-manage these. Enablement, automatically enroll in Intune. So this is co-management. So what this is, is this is where we determine what gets managed. So I am going to set, um, my co-managed devices collection to be automatically enrolled. Um, and we can also um, shift our workloads. So these are all the workloads that we can move up to Intune. Uh, the way co-management works, obviously, if the slider is here on the left, um, these workloads like client apps or office click to run, these are managed in here in config man. If they're all the way to the right, doesn't matter what collection you're in, they're all going to Intune. I prefer to do the pilot collection for everything because this way I can manually select which devices I want to put in, uh, select a pilot collection. OK, and then you can have different pilot collections for each workload. I am just going to do um, the same collection for all. Uh, this is a little annoying that you have to do this, but we're just going to stay with our co managed devices. The whole idea is by me putting a device in this collection. Well, we'll whiteboard it in a second. Let me get through all this. So we have all our PCs in SCCM. Um, and what we did is we made that co-managed collection. So what's going to happen now is SCCM is managing uh, obviously everything in all PCs except for this co-managed collection, which is going to be managed by Intune. And this way we can just take one PC and drop it in there. So now it'll get its policy directly uh, from Intune and stop listening to uh, to config man, which is essentially what we just did. So in Intune, we go to tenant administration, um, connectors and tokens, and we should see under Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager one healthy connector. So they are talking to each other and what will happen is you're going to see the devices here um, and, and they will get uh, co-managed. Now, the other thing you can do is, well, that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable uh, a cloud sync for this uh, collection, right? So if I look at my co-managed devices, right, um, which is this right here, Right, I want to have this link to an entry group. So what I can do is I can go to groups and I can make a new group and call that co-managed devices and PCs that are onboarded, onboarded. You got to spell 
the SCCM go management, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just an assign group and I'm going to hit create. And what we'll do there is we'll head back in here and we will right click on the collection and hit properties. You can go to cloud sync and turn that on, make this collection available to assign endpoint security policies from Microsoft. And what this will do is you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to add a group. So I'm going to add co-managed and hit search. Of course, I'm going to have to sign in. And you see it finds that group that exists in Entra. So I'm going to hit OK. OK. And what will happen is um, once the devices become co-managed, they're going to show up in that group. So I can then use this group. What just happened to it? Uh, let's refresh. Yeah, co-managed devices. So it'll take a while. I won't put you through that sync. But as devices come up here, I could just target policies to this group. I was going to wait and show you the result of this, but ultimately stuff is still syncing. I had a problem with, I had a problem with SCCM on the back end. I was reminded how much I, I don't like it. So, um, you know, I didn't want to waste your time with that, but that's the process, right? If you have a working SCCM environment, um, that's all you have to do to enable the co-management. So you could see just even getting the visibility up there for cloud attach is a great thing to have. So that's how you do it. We'll revisit this. And I'll show you what it looks like from the Intune side once everything is up, once everything is up there. And then we're also going to come back and talk about now that we've onboarded existing fleet into Intune, either with group policy or system center, um, we are going to uh, register them in autopilot. So we'll be seeing you.